Okay, guys, uh, back again for the next fight. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the first fight between Raiden from Metal Gear Solid versus Cyborg. Um, next fight comes from my friend Mr. Lone Wolf 96, and he pissed the likes of Master Chief. Yes, versus <clears throat> the Armored Avenger himself, Iron Man, Tony Stark. Yeah, so we got a uh, Master Chief versus Iron Man. Uh, so let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so we'll start it off with uh, Master Chief. Master Chief Petty Officer. What was his number again? Uh, John Seven One Seven, uh, or Cortan, as they once called him. Uh, is the main protagonist of the Halo trilogies, or the Halo series, I should say, pretty much. Um, very, very incredible uh, naval marine, I believe. Uh, correct me, guys, on this. Like I said, not a big Halo fan, so um, I'm doing my best. Um, and his cybernetic augmentations pretty much make him a damn near super soldier. He really is. Uh, he is equipped for battle, very witty, very courageous. Uh, this guy I've seen go into fights by himself um, and pretty much leave unscathed in a sense. Um, he is a pretty much impressive military man let's just put it like that with cybernetic parts and augmentations in him uh, he never gives up and he continues the fight uh, and he has a tendency to never leave any of his fallen comrades behind and I that's one thing I do respect about I respect the most about Master Chief is his willing to never leave his his fellow Marines are so behind, uh, but he's a, he's a very good character. Not the not not knocking him at all, and he does live up to his his monologue. Okay, so we move on to his combatant in this, and that's uh, I guess everybody, everybody, and their mother should know this guy right here. Founding member of the Avengers, billionaire, playboy, inventor, makes cool stuff. <laughs> uh, Mr. Anthony Tony Stark, Iron Man, the invincible, the incredible Iron Man, let's just put it like that. We all know Iron Man's story, he was just a weapons maker, you know, arms dealer, you know, made weapons, you know, billionaire was kidnapped cost him his heart um, and in a sense that turned him around he escaped by building a suit of armor and from there became from there the leg the legend was built was created Tony Stark a brilliant probably one of the one of the he's he's up there as one of the smartest in the uh, Marvel Universe very much uh, though he has decent hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, which he learned from his uh, friend uh, Steve Rogers. It is his armor that really sells him. His armor, there are so many armors this man has created, and they, every armor gets better and better the, when he creates it. It's not like he always upgrades his armor. They, they always get upgraded. And his the core abilities, you know, the repulsor rays and the repulsor blasters, the unibeams, the unisords. This guy is a walking arsenal in a sense, and he pretty much his armor is pretty much damn, damn near invulnerable. This guy has gone up against many foes in the Marvel universe, like I said, along by himself or with with the his fellow Avengers. He is truly, truly a work of genius. So we put this fight, I give you my diagnosis on the battle. Very interesting battle. 
but you got genius versus soldier you know or however you want to classify it um now let's just say the weaponry that the the, the basic standard weapons that master chief carries i would say will have no effect on tony whatsoever um can tony's armor pierce tony like repulsor rays pierce master chief's armor you know things like that um it also plays a factor but i think tony would really try to he will i think tony in terms of brains would outsmart master chief um i'll thank him uh, probably even probably try to shut down master chief's armor his cybernetic armor you know uh, hack it things like that but i don't see these guys killing each other in a sense but i do feel that it would be a the standard issue you know i don't know you you don't know me well, let's fight you know <laughs> it's it's a it's a classic cliche that happens between two heroes but it's how it's executed um you know as well as tony may have certain advantages in certain fields but that's just me you know i want to hear you guys thoughts master chief from the halo series or the armored adventure iron iron man uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this fight. Show some respect to Mr. Lone with 96, my friend Kyle. This was his creation, and I'm just glad to do one a fight that he actually requested. This is the first time uh, Mr. Lone Wolf has requested a fight, so I'm glad to know that um, his status should really be able to get out of being a rookie in my fantasy fights. Yes, uh, you have to at least have more than done at least more than five fights that i've done for you to be considered a uh, <laughs> uh out of being a rookie in my fight uh, but other than that guys i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in this saturday with uh the next two fights fight number 22 and 23 um uh, I'll, I'll save the fight by Marin Thompson, Marion Thompson, Myron Thompson, my friend Myron uh, Thomas. Uh, but I will give you the fight between uh, 5863 Triple HH. Uh, he pits, uh, which I'm really looking forward to doing, Amazo versus Ultron. So I'll see you guys then. And you guys take care. And you guys know the slogan.